just kind of a quick stupid video. Um, I got the, uh, my, my last video, I, I don't even know if I'll post it, it was about torquing the, um, the rocker bolts down and checking your preload. I, I, I fumbled through it and honestly I just shut the camera off and buckled down and got it all straightened out. I, I was kind of getting weird readings when I was checking my, double checking my preload, but it's all good now. I got about 85 to 90 thousandths preload and everything's tightened down and I got it off the stand obviously as you can see. My flywheel is bolted on and torqued down and I filled it up with, the only thing I had was a brand new jug of 10W30. Um, it's not my ideal choice, but I'm only going to be, basically I'm going to start the motor up, check for leaks, uh, maybe run it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to shut it down and dump this oil out anyway. So, And then put a different oil in, run it for 500 miles or a couple hours or whatever, and then uh, change it again. So it's not going to be in there that long. What I did was I hooked the starter up to a battery, and I wanted to, well, first of all, I just wanted to spin it over make sure nothing weird was happening and then secondly i thought it would actually be a good time to make sure i'm getting oil pressure um you remember my dumb mistake of forgetting the dumbbell <laughs> and uh so i figured it'd be easy to spin over with just the flywheel on and no plugs in no accessories hooked up and i was right it spins over pretty fast and it took maybe um i took the my sender off it took maybe I don't know, 15 seconds total. I did a 10 second burst, let it sit for a second, and then I hit it again. And oil literally shot like four feet out of that fitting, went all over the place. So I'm getting oil up to my oil sender, and that happened so quickly. I'm sure once it's in the car, I'll be able to crank it over. But I just figured I'd take a quick video of it cranking over just because, well, it's fun. So here's a couple seconds of it cranking over. You actually heard it quiet down a little bit. I think the uh, the lifters finally got, you know, finally have oil going all through them. And um, even though I had oil pressure here, I'm sure it still had to work through. But it doesn't sound like anything weird's happening. Except for my screwdriver skipping. So there she be. Um, I might take another video here in a minute of putting a pilot bearing in and... Then I'm going to just, I don't have time to get the stinking motor in today. I'm kind of angry about that, but we'll um, at least get the trans mated to it and get the plugs in it and get the exhaust bolted on and literally have it sitting on the dolly ready to go for maybe even tomorrow. We'll have to see. So stay tuned.